the city. Fires continue to burn everywhere. Troops are shooting people. My God, I, I don't know why there's a woman dying in front of me. is incredible. I've got a hundred PhDs working on this problem and we've got nothing. What if in the emergency reservoirs will buy us a week? If we're lucky. What the hell is holding up the problem with the inlet valve? We've got to have that water on the line now. Do you understand? Not in front of the car. Move. My friends, as you all know, this city is experiencing an unprecedented heat wave. I want to thank you for what you've done so far to conserve water and eliminate the use of electricity and air conditioning. I am confident that with your cooperation, we can weather this crisis. It's almost empty. Needles on the red. How much is in the reserve tank? This is the reserve tank. I'm here right now at the Metropolitan Treatment Plant to personally supervise the channeling of the emergency water supply into the city's lines. And it's simply a matter of time before that will happen. In the meantime, I urge you to familiarize yourself with the temporary water rationing plan. I want to commend you for your patience in this difficult situation. Kevin! She's burning up. That's dehydration. I'll get the cut. Put the tape. Drinking, but don't give her too much. We're gonna fight some water. Look, they're killing people out there for a taste of this stuff. You can't buy or steal a bottle. I know I've tried. We'll have to try again. <coughs> and it will only be a matter of 24 hours before that water supply is coming to you. I assure you, help is at hand. This is the main inlet. What the hell is this stuff? I've never seen anything like that. Looks like some kind of plant or something. Let's burn it off. No! All the city's water is trapped behind that thing. What the hell do you want me to do? I don't know. No use. The rising temperature is causing the bodies to become unstable. 
If we don't deal with the problem, we'll lose the original. What do you propose? The heat is constant. Only by reducing the body temperature and keeping the liquids at a constant level can we hope to salvage them. They're quite delicate. The kind of life form bases itself on water. When the water supply cannot be depended on, their imperfection doesn't change their needs or our own. If they die, their clones die too, and we've wasted precious resources for nothing. So, we could move them. If we place the bodies in the same treatment plant as the diverted water supply, they can be kept alive. Condensation in the water pipes keeps the surrounding air mass at a constant hundred degrees. Do you agree, Mana? There's something in this. We have to move the human originals to a new location. Or we lose them. Yes, yes, it's fine. What are you reading? A book. No, a blueprint for human control. It might allow us to put a more effective and permanent solution than your drought plan into action. The Holy Bible. Withholding their water is working. Why disrupt it? I wouldn't disrupt anything. I have made a point of studying this in detail. They live their lives by it. So what? Why should this interest me? Because control is the answer to our immediate problem. The eternal demands it. What does this book have to do with it? Just this: in times of trial like this water crisis, humans flock to meeting houses and beg their invisible god for deliverance. Of course, the god never answers them. What's it got to do with us? Imagine what might happen if we answered their needs for them through a spokesperson, one who could secure their trust, one who could represent our interests. Friends, take you to the morgue. Now. We're dying. Give him some water. We can't. It's not worth someone dying. for a bottle. Hey. Save my skin. Take two. Hi, Stephen. Let us pray silently that we may be delivered from this drought. Have you come to join us in prayer? We could use your help. I just dropped in to see how you're making out. It's been a long time. Times are hard, but God gives us strength. Good to see you, John. And you, Thomas. I thought you may be able to use this. You've answered our prayers. 
You have indeed, John. Well, it does work in mysterious ways, Reverend. We are all being tested, but we shall not be found wanting. Everyone will share in this. There's enough. Thanks, John. You're a lifesaver. You saved my life once. Oh, come on. It was your own stubborn will, and you know it. Maybe. But you were the person that helped me through it. I probably would have given up without you. It was my job. Anyway. Oh, that was a long time ago, wasn't it? The Lord be praised. Amen. Take care of it, Gracie. Hi, Stephen. There is a very small church led by a man who truly believes in the power of his God. Will they be suited? He is what they call a man of faith. If we can change the focus of his belief, we can have them all. It's simply a matter of using this crisis to redirect his religious zeal. It seems fairly simple. The drought is driving them into despair. They're grabbing at anything or anyone who will give them water. That's a part of it. But imagine the next step. We give them someone who can create a miracle. A phenomenon for which there is no rational explanation. <laughs> Everything has a rational explanation. Yes, but they don't understand that. They believe in divine power. And that's all that is important. We will give them a deliverer, a prophet. A, a messiah. Messiah. Just as we diverted the water, we will divert the human's faith from their God to the eternal spirit of Morthrite. This is it. I want you to get some rest. I don't want two casualties here. place we can go. Good. Get what you need. Oh. Never seen you so scared before. I'm scared all the time. You know what really scares me the most? When you, my mom, and Harrison well, I get scared that you'll never come back. You know what keeps us coming back, don't you? You. You copy central control, central control. Emergency situation, I've got a red 511. Where's our backup? My quadrant 7, blocks 15 hey. to 20. We've got a riot in progress. Where the hell's our backup? Is it me in there? Oh! Yeah! Give me in there. Give me in there. Dear Lord, forgive us our sins and trespasses. We turn to thee for deliverance. We fear not death, for in thee we have everlasting life. Can't go on much longer. It will rain soon. I mustn't give up hope. Our Lord was sorely tried. His spirit grew stronger while his body weakened. We all have that strength.
Friends, it's very hard to go on, I know. But we will find strength in one another and in ourselves. Dear God, we are willing. We are waiting to serve you. Help us in our hour of need. said, we have here but five loaves and two fishes. Jesus said, bring them to me. And he took the five loaves and two fishes and gave them to his disciples and to the multitude. And they did all eat. Five thousand men, women and children. How could they be led to believe in such fantasy? They had been conditioned since infancy. Now they're flocking from all over the city. They're turning to Reverend Salter for the answers to their prayers. I'll take care of him now. This is their boy. It wasn't hard for us to lure him away in all the excitement. Who are you? What are you going to do to me? Take him to the water treatment plant. A cloning chamber has been installed there. No, no, let me go! No! John, have you seen Stephen? No, since this morning. It's getting late. We shouldn't be out in this heat. I'll go find him. Well, no, no, I can go. I just was wondering if you just... If... Grace, you're exhausted. Oh. I've been keeping him in since this heat wave started. I guess he's just probably out on his bike somewhere. Don't worry. I'll find him. Directly under the font. Harrison, does that look familiar? What the hell is that? Why is this here? Have you got your sample vial? Okay. Mic is open. Light is very sharp. Not me. It's God's miracle. Oh, but God chose you to be his messenger, our deliverer from this drought. If I'm able to serve, I will. In any way I can. God bless you, Reverend. God bless you. Stephen! Hey, man, have you seen a small boy? Have you seen a... Bacteria, chlorine, fluoride, everything we get out of the city taps. If this membrane is carrying city water, they could have bought the whole system. We're going to have to find this blockage and remove it. Where is he? 
I want to see him. What's the matter there? I'm in such pain. If the water from the font is holy, perhaps it can help me. It's just water. I can't heal. I'm sorry. You can heal me. You can do it. I can't work miracles. I'm sorry. But you can. I saw you. We all saw you. Please, Reverend, help me. You've been given a gift. Do you believe in the power of God? Do you? Just touch me, Blockage has to be above the level of this reservoir. So we're going to go down there and then follow the pipes. Yeah. You know, I could do this on my own. No, it's okay. to work through you, you must accept it. Thomas, you've always taken on other people's problems. Now maybe you can do more. You think that somehow I've been given a gift? Oh, Thomas, I don't know. Grace, what's happening to me? Stephen! I'm 
so sorry, Chris. Why? Why? I was a boy. I don't know. I wish you'd never lived at all. You don't mean that. Yes, I do. Why give him to us to take him away? I... <laughs> My life is such a waste. Nobody's life is a waste. Stephen's life brought you and Thomas joy and gave you something to live for. What do I have now? Tell me what. All those years I spent caring for the sick and the wounded, dying. When Stephen was born, I thought he was a gift from God. I was wrong. Yeah, this is where the water should be coming in. Come on. I guess we have to start somewhere. What's the matter, Suzanne? Nothing. I'm fine. Yeah. This way. Friends, I've counseled you not to turn away from God, but to trust in him and to know that those who he has chosen are with him in everlasting life. We must now do the same. It is hard to let go of the living, especially one so young, so innocent. Jesus stood before the tomb of Lazarus, surrounded by the faithful, and he asked his father for help. Rise, come forth, live again. Our Stephen now lives again in the house of the Lord. And forever in our hearts. Daddy? What have you done? Thomas, your son was dead. The dead stay that way. I don't know. I have no explanation. Don't give me that line. Who's using you? What are you talking about? I never thought you'd sell out. How could you drag Grace through this? You saw what I saw. Reverend, are you all right? Who are you? I have come to give you inspiration and courage. Leave me alone. It is time, Thomas Salter, that you saw the face of the one true God. What? What is saying, Jimmy? There could be something funny going on here. Have you seen your mom and Harrison? Not since we got here. Okay, stay put here. Stick close to Grace. Where are you going? To find out what the Reverend's up to. I'll be back.
Looks like we're finally getting there. Harrison, wait. I can't do this. I gotta get out of here. Suzanne. Oh, 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 Okay. Now, let's get you a leg. We're gonna go into that tunnel. And you'll be with me, I'll be right behind you. Here's your light. It's okay. Thomas is in here somewhere. Where's Debbie? She's okay, but I think they clone Stephen. What? You missed a couple of miracles arranged by our alien friends. Okay. 
is set. Let's go find Thomas. Find the apparatus and destroy it. Our priority is to return water to the city. We don't have time to make search this place. <gasps> is he alive? Stephen? Just tell me what you remember. Oh, yeah. I was out on my bicycle, and I had an accident, and I woke up here. What kind of accident? Tell me, please. I was out on my bicycle, and I had an accident, and I woke up here. Greece. I've seen the face of the one true God. shall no longer live in darkness, but you shall live in the eternal. Oh, yes. Yes. Get me in there. Can you make it? Okay. I have to. Okay, Stephen. The eternal will love you. Fill your lives with everything you need. You will know what Adam knew in the garden. That you will never know hunger or thirst. That you will always be sheltered and protected. I was crippled. Now I am healed. He brought me back to life. Yes, he did. If you love me, rejoice, for you will soon have never-ending life. And he of pure form and light will come before us, and you will see the face of God. This is a hoax. I'm trying to trick you. 
will strike you down. Cleanse this place for his holy presence. He is come. judge for ourselves what's right. You're not puppets. Is this water a trick? No. That poor woman? No. My son raised from the dead? No. You saw the miracles no. yourselves. Now the eternal comes to bring you your dreams. Interference, tremendous electrical interference. We have made the world and our lives what they are. And only we can make them the better. Gotta go on, Grace. For his sake. He never gave in. He never turned his back on his beliefs. Thank mm -hmm. you. 